This is Proverbs 28 verse 12. When the righteous men do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. Right? And we've all praised the Abba Hashem Yahushai, Abba Hashem Rakakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the men of the Hopeland Saints. Look, this is Makaza from the Trinidad camp. Just want to do a little edification for the elect's sake. All right, so I want to go into the word hidden. All right, the word hidden means to search, search for, to search out, disguise oneself. So basically, when the wicked rule, a man disguise himself. All right, when you go down to E1, it says to disguise oneself, to let oneself be searched for. All right, so what I want to go into right now is the history of Esau. All right, because people say that, you know, the Edomites, they done away with, it have no more Edomites, you know, the Caucasian, Caucasian the so-called wise, they are not Edomites. But according to the scriptures in Genesis 25, 25 only with all going down, guess what? Tree spread, you could see that that talking about Esau, it said it first came out red, all over like a hairy garment. All right, and who is the red people on earth right now? The so-called whites, which not really white, but the skin pale, and you see the blood through the skin making them look red. All right, making them look red. So the 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 so-called whites, these are the Edomites of the world. All right, and they try to they try to hide their identity. By hiding their identity means that they could try to, in their mind, thinking that they could escape prophecy, but they can't. All right? Because the scripture says, hey, there's nothing hidden that's not going to be searched out. The scripture said, how are the hidden things of Esau searched out? All right? So, this is an article. It says, Adolf Hitler um, was Hitler Jewish? It says, one of the most frequently asked questions about the Holocaust and the Nazi party is whether Adolf Hitler was Jewish or had Jewish ancestors. It says, to, um, though the idea may seem preposterous to some, the question seems to stem from the remote possibility that Hitler's grandfather was Jewish. Hitler's father, Elois, was registered as an illegitimate child with no father when born in 1837. And to this day, Hitler's paternal grandfather is unknown a lois mother maria Schuppergruber, is known to have worked in this in the home of a wealthy jew so there is some chance however small that there that a son in that household got hitler's grandmother pregnant all right so um This is in 2010, the British paper and Daily Telegraph reported that a study had been conducted in which um, silver examples, um, saliva examples, my bad, saliva samples were um, collected from 39 of Hitler's known relatives to test their DNA origins and found that inconclusively that Hitler may have had jewish origins all right which the jews go back to the so-called whites all right and a paper reported a chromosome called hap um haplo group e1 b1 b1 which showed up in the hit in the hitler samples is a rare western europe and is most commonly found in the berbers of morocco algeria and tunisia 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 as well as among Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews. Haplogroup E1B1B1, which accounts for approximately 18 to 20% of Ashkenazi and 8.6% to 30% of Sephardic Y chromosome, appears to be one of the major founding lineages of the Jewish population, which study um, true sign by nature is inconclusive despite the claims Adolf Hitler was not a, was not Jewish well guess what he was he was Jewish all right he had Jewish ancestry all right this is um do descendants of Edom dominate Ju Germany 
16 March 2015, um, 25 Ada 5775. It says, um, it says, introduction, only a minority of Germans may be Edomites, but are not the important ones. In scripture, Edom plays an important role. Edom will be a major player in the end times. Which, guess what? Who is the people ruling right now? Esau. So for him to be a major player in the end times, he had to be the people ruling. Alright? Joseph will war against Edom and defeat him. Which Joseph talking about, nation of Israel. Edom also plays a major role in rabbinical writings. Edom was identified with Germanic provinces and with Rome and elsewhere with the leading elites of Europe in general. In the past... There were many Israelites among the Germans, but most left. It says, we should emphasize most Germans are not Edomites, but rather they derive from Goma and other sources. Edomites, however, are present, have a powerful influence, and occasionally take control. Not all Edomites are bad. The Torah, which, which is a total lie, the Torah allows for Edom, Edomites and Egyptians to become full-fledged citizens of Israel after three generations. It was forbidden. It was forbidden not to respect them. All right. It says, as the Vilna Gaon is reported to have said, it may that half of the 17 non-Israelite nations of the earth may be classified as Edomites and that the other half as those of Ishmael. Nevertheless, it would appear that Germany and Rome, however, Romans is Rome's to, is today. Whoever Rome is today are the Edomite nations per excellence. It says this assumption is based on the Talmudic opinion, Megillah 6. Um, the present article gives support to the notion in a brief reference um, to scriptures and um, secular sources it says to the name and Daisy 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 main point I want to go in here to show that guess what these so-called whites are Edomites it says Esau became known as Edom we find the name Esau as Esos in Gaul the Esosvians of Normandy were named after them Esos was recorded in southern Gaul but um through his consort Rose Mutter, we may trace him to Western Germany. The name Ross Mutter in Latin may connote Edom Red, the marvelous. It is worth noting that Gallic culture extended from Gaul into Western and Southern Germany. It says the early Germans in the all right, so like about that. It says the early Germans in the modern sense derive largely from Swabians, whose name may also derive from, from Esau, the early Germans. So guess what? The early Germans, they they they, they, they would have come out from what? From the from the Renaissance period. So for you to say Esau done away with, guess what? History showing you otherwise. It says um sacrificial victims of Esos were hung from trees and scourged. The adherents of Odin did the same. Odin hanged himself on a tree to gain wisdom. He sacrificed himself to himself. There are other opinions, there are other, there are other points linking Esos to Odin. The name Odin derives from Edom. The name Edom was rendered as Odin. Um, this name is also found in Wotan amongst the Anglo-Saxons and Scandinavians. And guess what? These 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 people are where the the these Jews, the so-called Jews, originated from. All right, around areas of Turkey. All right, the German o um, Odin was different. Odin was known as a wild hunter. Esau also had been. A, um, a hunter Genesis 25 27 another name for Odin was the national god of the Idumians Gu guess what Edom is another e Idumia is another way to say um 
Edom. All right. It says another name for Odin was the national god of the Idumians of Edom, um, west, south, um, southeast of Judah, was known as Cas or Cos. All right. So it's showing you that. Guess what? These 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 Germans they 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 go all the way back to Edom. This may be dialectical version of Esau. Odin was also known as Cus, Capas, Zeus, which hey, guess what's a Zeus? It says Dai, Duchen, and on Dai March. I believe this is this is German. So no, I ain't gonna pronounce it good. Germany, 1835. Hildeburg, Germany, 1925. It says the German Swiss um, psychologist C.G. Jung reported many of his German patients seeing Odin in dreams leading up to World War II. So, you know, they're going off. Um, I'm going to read through the whole thing. You know, for the interest of time, I'm just going to, you know, just bounce around. All right? It says, do descendants of Esau dominate um germany 26 oh i think I, um i just read that part. all right um all right it says edomites moved westward to the 10 tribes and now dwell among them the edomites worship esos which was another form of Esau. So basically, the Edomites, they worship themselves. The Edomites worship themselves. And then you're gonna, the conclusion of the whole matter, you're going to see the conclusion where this name Esau is going to lead to. Guess what? For some of you already already seen where, where it's leading to. This, this word Esau, this name Esau, which is another form of Esau. It says the Celtic pagan god was also worshipped by in Germany. It says... He became known as Odin. The name Odin was a form, was the name Edom. German nationalists identified with Odin. So did Hitler. So Hitler also worshipped Odin, which was this god Esus. All right. Then it have this video here. Um, it says descendants of Edom were to be found in different regions of the Middle East. It says from these areas, there were movements to the north and to the west peoples who had first appeared in the middle east ended up in europe including germany it says before the romans came we find the name esau reconstructed as esos in gaul the esuvians were norman of normandy were named after esos esos was also recorded in southern gaul and worshipped in paris and in Tervez, i.e tear a city in germany on the banks of Moselle in the border of Luxembourg and near France. A coin with the name Aesos has been found in England. Personal names like um, Isosgenos, son of Esos, and Isonotus, um, he who has the strength of Esos, occurs in England, France, and Switzerland. Esos is also found on an inscription in Algeria where it may be traceable to the Celtic merchants and mercenaries. So guess what? It's showing that these people that, that started up in, in Europe, they worship the, this Edomite God. And guess what? They were descendants of, of Esau because it says that the, the people of Edom, they, they, they migrated up into Europe and into Germany. So these Celts, Guess what? These some of these Celts, which wouldn't be all, were descendants of Esau. It says a dedication to Esau has also been found at um, Chersel in modern-day Algeria, A.E. 1985-943 in Falsburg, Germany. He is invoked as Mercurio Estruna to mighty Esos Mercury. All right. So in modern day Algeria, they be worshiping Esos. So that's 
So as I said, they're going to see who this Esau's going to lead back to. And then they're going to see who are the modern day Edomites. Esau's had a consort, Rosmata, whose worship spread from Eastern Gaul into Western Germany. And the name Ros, i.e. Red, i.e. Edom, Murta, in Latin, in Latin may connote Edom, Red. The marvelous E1, it is worth noting that Gaelic culture extended from Gaul into Western and Southern Germany. All right? Which basically leading up to, to a couple years back, it was predominant that in the region before the com um, the coming of the Germanic Germans, where the Swabi and the company who first appeared in what is now Poland and East Germany had whose appearance should be dated at the at after 200 BCE. The Swabi, also known as Swabi, may also derive um, their name from Esau. All right, and guess what? The Swabi are one of the Germanic tribes that made up the Roman Empire back then. The ten, the ten, um, the ten horns. All right, the Swabi. They were one of the Germanic tribes. To, to prove that even the Romans were Edomites and coming up now, guess what? These people who are living around Europe and Asia, well, mainly Europe wrong, and Russia, guess what? These are Edomites. All right? It says, which is pronounced as Isav in modern Hebrew. At present, hey, guess what? In, in um, the, I believe it's the, the Jewish Encyclopedia, it says that um, Jewry is modern day Edom. And I was reading a book. A book, the name of the book is um, from John Hagi. All right, revised and updated Jerusalem Countdown. And this is something that it said it says, Adolf Hitler. Um, has a distant descendant of Esau. Pulitzer Prize winner author John Tolan in his book Adolf Hitler records that Hitler was part Jewish. All right, so it's showing, I guess, what these Edomites, these Edomites, are so called are the so called wise, the so called Caucasians. So they can't be hit because the spirit of the most are revealing them. And guess what? You so called whites. You Caucasians, you going into slavery under us, the nation of Israel, which are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. Now this this going further to show that um that Esau and Odin it says um the worship of Esau uh, pre uh preceded that of Odin. It says later adherents of Odin, like those of Esau, hang their victims on trees. Just like the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree represented the, vic the heads of the victim that they hanged on the tree. The balls. Odin mythologically hanged himself on a tree to gain wisdom. He had sacrificed himself to himself. And the name Odin derives from Edom. Alright? The Holy Trinity... The pagan god Esus. Esus and Jesus coincidence. The trinity of Esus. Esus, the Roman poet Lucian described Esus in a poem, a facilia dating from the first century AD. In it, he alludes to the journey of Caesar's troops through southern Gaul and their encounter with three Gaulish gods, Tyrannus, to it and Esus, Luke, um, Lucan describes this triad trinity as cruel, savage, and de um, and demanding. The word Esus is not so much as a name as it is a title meaning Lord or God Master. Green Miranda J. Dictionary of Celtic Myth and Legends, Thames and Hudson, March 1992, page 93 to 94. The cult of this god may have been um, comparable, widespread with the triad trinity, was introduced by the Gauls 
and they were apparently more or less well known as local gods it says j a McCull uh, mcculloch 1911 chapter 3 the gods of the gods and the continental celts the religion of ancient celts new york dover publicans isbn all right um so it's showing that the, the the gods they had a trinity and they worship it as um as Esus. all right it says correctors were hired to add a trinity to the bible theological disputes over the trinity prompted christian scribes to alter the word of the scriptures in order to make them more serviceable the oxidus corruption of um, scripture by professor bart e um er, 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 erman the manuscripts were carefully revised by the um correct correct um correctors manus, manuscripts by lewis burger it says in the catholic encyclopedia volume um nine it says new york um robert appleton company 1910 it says perhaps they also changed christ's names from jeshua to jesus in honor of the pagan god esos or hesus now you see where we're coming to showing that guess what jesus is none other than a pagan god called esos which goes back to edom so by you christians worshiping jesus you actually worshiping esau because the edomites they worship themselves all right it says after stumbling upon the ancient god called esos or hesus um who has a part of a trinity one is left to wonder is the name jesus has anything in has anything to do with the deliberate mistranslation of the original hebrew name yeshua which is yahweh shai it says some scholars believe that the trans that transliteration is not the same as translation which is totally not the same all right transliteration is what you get when you trans when you try to when you change the hebrew to english you get yhwh that is a result of transliteration taking the alphabet of one letter and, and bringing it to the alpha of the alphabet of one language and bringing it to the alphabet of another language translation is ark in hebrew and brother in english that is translation Shai, or as they say yeshua or joshua to jesus is not translation that is not translation no transliteration all right some scholars believe that the trans that transliteration is not the same as translation and allows for deliberate mistakes to be made in favor of supporting the pagans who were leery of accepting the jewish messiah in their midst studies have linked the name jesus to the zeus to, to the zeus of greek and ancient rome but even the god of ancient god Esus, also known as Esus, brings even more light to this matter with characters hired with characters hired by the rome by rome to rewrite manuscripts that were objection objectionable to the pagans um one should not be surprised that even the name of the jewish messiah may have been tampered with it says it is a known fact that the name of the jewish god of the bible jehovah was removed by characters more than seven thousand times and replaced by the title lord F um formed all in capitals to show that an omission had been taken obviously the characters would have stooped even lower to transliterate the name of jeshua christ into more palatable name of jesus for the sake of the pagans of the um, time period let's take a look at the god of the ancients whose name was Esus, in order to to make the previously despised cult of the early christians acceptable to contest cons Constantine, Emperor, um, Emperor of Rome, the new pagan um, church fathers had to remove from its teaching certain doctrines because guess what? The word um, Catholic means universal or joined together. So when they brought all pagans under, guess what? Some people 
what wouldn't really be done with certain doctrines so to make everybody come together under one head they would have to change certain things up hence the reason they brought in Chris, um, christmas and easter and all these things and the trinity guess what all these things are pagan so they brought it into one head so that all people could basically call themselves catholic it says um which they knew were objectionable to constantine to accomplish this certain um this certain characters were appointed whose task it was to rewrite the gospels apollonius the nazarene part one the historical apollonius versus the mythological the mythical jesus by dr r w bernard um, phd it says learn men so-called characters were following the church meeting at nicaea 325 a.d selected by the church authorities to scrutinize the sacred text and rewrite them in order to correct their meaning in abundance with the view so think about this bible saying that only israel could be saved and you bringing in all other nations on the pagan doctrines to call themselves roman catholic guess what they ain't gonna be done with only israel could be saved so you're gonna have to change it up and, and say guess what the gentiles could be saved which gentiles mean all people and these would have been doing all right by you christians following jesus you worshiping an ancient god called Hesus, which is at um the god of the edomites which when you look at jesus jesus is a, is a straight up edomite all right all right to correct their their meaning in in accordance to the views of the church that had just sanctioned professor um ebnard nestle in, in um introduction to the textual criticism of the greek testament Ern frung in die textri ertic des testaments Ernard nestle the biblical manuscripts were carefully revised by the characters manuscripts by Louis Berger in the Catholic Encyclopedia Volume 9, New York, Robert Appleton Company, 1910. The theological, um, theological disputes, specifically disputes over the Trinity um, Christology, prompted Christian scribes to alter the words in the manuscript in order to make them more serviceable. The Orthodox Corruption of Scriptures, Professor, Prof, uh, Professor Bart B. Unham, after the Council of Nicaea, 8325, the manuscripts of the New Testament were considerably tampered with by scholars called corruptors who were appointed by the ecclesiastical authorities and actually commissioned to correct the text of the scriptures the in the interest of what was considered orthodoxy, um, Etchian Wilberforce. All right. Um, so I jump in down. It says the ancient God called Esus. Esus, the Roman poet Lucian describes Esus in the poem of um, Pharsalia, dating from the first century AD. The last great battle. In the civil war between Ptolemy and Caesar, um, Caesar, in it he alludes that the journey of Caesar's troops. All right, so I just read that in, a, in another article. All right, um, it says Esus and Jesus. Some scholars have drawn attention to the mistranslation of Christ's name Yeshua to the Greek Jesus, while some have linked the name jesus to the greek god zeus still others have noted the likeness of the name jesus to the pagan god esos or hesos the um the only letter missing is the j it says in the 18th century Dru druidic rev uh, revivalist iolo morgan morgan hey, these people name hard to pronounce says identified Esus with Jesus in the 18th century identified Esus with Jesus on the strength of the similarity of their names both who and Huang uh, were no doubt originally identical with Hesus and Lactanicus and the Hesus of Lucian of Lucan 
described as God of the Gauls and the similarity of the last name of Esau's wells, Jesus, is obviously and obvious and striking. Yolo Manwag in 1862, E.D.J. Williams, A.D. Ittel, The Barbarous of Yolo Manwag, Volume 1. All right, um... Spared my little bit. All right. Um, it says, "Esus, the the Druid Son Savior." It says, "Esus, the Druid Son Savior." Esus, also known as Hesus, is the personal name of the Celtic Druid Son Savior. All right, and these druids will go back to what these um, ancient witches, which the Illuminati. Guess what? They would have come from them. All right, closely um, associated with Jupiter and Zeus. All right, which pre represented in the Roman Catholic Church. All right, the druids. Now, guess what? You Christians can't say you're not related to the Catholics because your doctrine came from the Roman Catholic. All right, it says the druids were. The priestly tribe of the Celtic gods and the, pre the present day Germany, Eng England, France, and some parts of Scandinavian countries. Jesus was born on the 25th of December, which you claim Jesus was born on the 25th of December, which the Bible does not, the Bible does not uh, um, confirm this. The Bible does not agree with this. All right? 8 to the 30, 34 BC by a virgin mother May Mayens. Also, the Bible does not agree that Yahweh Shai had no father. That is not biblical. Alright? Fathered by God, the Son deity. So guess what? Jesus is none other than Jesus, an ancient God of the Edomites. Jesus or Jesus Christ was the healing savior also known as the deity of the vegetation related to Baal, English the Lord. He was regarded by the Romans, by the Romans as Mercury or Mitra. Esus was the third of the Celtic Trinity. His element was the wind. Now guess what? The Lord Yahweh Shai has nothing to do with this with this pagan God. Yahweh Shai was not born on the 25th of December. Yahweh Shai was not he has an earthly father his name was was G, um joseph all right some of the druids worship rituals it says the cross was one of the components of their worship which is city roman catholic church became around the tree in a cross shape uh, with loops of branches the rope shape of the cross represents the sun deity all right the druids main doctrine was reincarnation after death and probable animal sacrifice the worship of nature and vegetation mistletoe and oak are regarding high respect as a gift from heaven um yeah it says the worship of Esus was adopted into the roman religion after the gallic roman war in 53 bce by julius caesar Whereas the minority, the majority of the Gaulish and Druid priests were taken as slaves after their defeat and transported to Rome, Druids were responsible of integrating the worship of Esus into the Roman religion, which you keep today. And the Gaulish culture was submerged uh, with Roman culture and the Gauls eventually became Roman citizens, calling themselves Roman Catholics. So the, the Christian doctrine is none other than an ancient um, Gaelic doctrine which goes all the way back to Edom. Because the Edomites were the ones that first worshipped Esus, which Esus is another way to say Edom. Alright, in 323 CE, during the reign of Emperor Constantine, the worship of Esus was reinstated once again in rome and eventually played a major role in the council of nicaea because it was the name 
Emperor Constantine enacted as the official savior deity of the Roman Eumenical uh, faith as Lucius Christus. As Lucius Christus. However, when the J letter alphabet was introduced in the 7th century, it was then added to the name Esus to masculine it with to Jesus. Up until the 16th century CE, there was no J letter in the Hebrew, Aramaic, Greek, Latin, nor English. J is the last alphabet added to English. It is comparatively late modified of the um, letter I. All right, Jesus in the original 1611 King James Version is Jesus. The proper name of Jesus used in English language originates from the Latin, from the uh, form of the Greek Jesus, a rendition of Hebrew Yeshua, also having the variant of Joshua or Jeshua. So Joshua and Jesus are the same, so are their stories. Um, do your own research. Find um, the truth just hidden in the field. So now, in the Old Testament, you have Joshua. And in the New Testament, you have the name Joshua. But then if Joshua, the son of Nun, and Joshua, the son of the Mosai, are the same names in Hebrew, how in the New Testament, you have Joshua and Jesus, which shows you that Jesus is just our rendition and just the modern way of worshiping the ancient god Esus or Hesus, which is another way of saying Edom. All right, so you Edomites, you Edomites are the so called whites, and the god of the Edomites, which you be worshiping right now, is, is, is Jesus, who was known before as Hesus or Esus. All right, so I hope it was edifying and not too tedious. All right, want to give all praises to Abba Shem Shai. Ba Kakodash. Wanna give double honors to the apostles of great mercy who not rule well. Salutations to the men of the hopeland since elect. This is Makazar saying Shalom.